I'm back with another Firefly Z07. I've got a second one now. The one that you're seeing on the left here is the original. That's the gunmetal gray. And that was the first generation. I got that back in January. Had it for almost six months now. And it's still doing really good. It does that little glitch where in moonlight mode it'll go crazy and go into turbo. I was talking to you about that in the original video. And then the newer generation, the one on the right, is in coyote, tan, or yellow, however the website describes it, wherever you're purchasing it. I've seen it described as a couple different colors, but it's like a tan color. Looks really good. I want to show you all some differences. So you're probably thinking, why is this guy got these flashlights on uneven ground or uneven table? That is... Uh, the first difference that I want to show you with these two, it is a difference in length. It actually starts up about midway right there. Notice the difference in length. I'm going to try to capture that on the video so that way you can see. And it gradually just goes all the way up to the very end of the flashlight. It's about a millimeter longer than the other. I've got them both nice and tightened up and there's really nothing that I can change. This newer generation is just a tad bit longer for whatever reason. There is another difference with those two clips. Notice how the older clip is black, the newer clip is silver. Notice how the button on the older light is a little bit like lighter in colored rubber and then this newer switch is a little bit darker and you can see the LEDs a little bit better. I don't know how they did that. They made the material darker but you can somehow see the LEDs better. Pretty crazy. The heat sink on the newer one is a little bit smoother. It's not as sharp and um, is a better cut. The older one, the cut is a little bit you know sharp on the edges they've changed that up no really not really noticing any other huge changes than what i just listed in the make of the light and then there is some differences with the leds because i ordered different leds so let's go into that with the original i went with red auxiliary LEDs with this newer one. I went with purple. I like the purple a little bit more. I'm not against the red. It looked really good with the gunmetal, but the red is just mostly for showing off and for setting out on the counter so that way you can find your flashlight in the dark. This purple, I like it a little bit more because it's a little bit brighter and you can actually use it to find stuff in the dark. You can use it when you're going to check on the babies in the middle of the night it's enough light to check on them but not wake them up the red you can't find something on the counter with that red it's just not bright i wasn't expecting it to be because red usually is a little bit more dim whereas you know purple and green and things like that is going to be a little bit more bright just wanted to throw that out there to y'all another difference that i did is with this newer one that you see on the right i went with sst20 which is a 4000 K tent with the older one I went with the 6500 K which is a little bit brighter so that's a difference that you're going to wind up seeing in the beam shots tonight the SST 20 is a little bit more of a warm color and that's what I was going for I want to show you what's up with this newer E07 also. Another big change is, so check it out, the, the light on the left, that's the older, and that is in moonlight. We're going to turn this new one on in moonlight. And I want you all to notice the difference in brightness. I've checked this newer E07, and I've confirmed that it is in the lowest setting that it can be. You can go and check your ramping configuration and set your ramping to be wherever you want it. It can start out at a brighter level or 
you know, in a lower level and I have it set in the lowest setting. I confirmed that. So these two differences could either be from the new light, maybe they've changed it, or it's from the LED type that I went with. I don't know. Whatever y'all think on that, let me know in the comments because I know just enough about these LEDs to get me in trouble and to let me know what tint I'm going with. I don't really know much more than that. Is SST20 going to be brighter at a lower level than the 6500K? I don't know. But it's a big difference. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say it's such a difference that I'm not crazy about it. I'm not crazy about how bright this is. It's not a very good moonlight uh, mode. What really saved it is me going with those purple LEDs. I'm able to use that as a moonlight. I'm able to go and do like I was saying a second ago, check on the babies, not have too much light. Honestly, with that right there, that's too much light. It's not going to be very effective for me going and checking on things in the middle of the night and not disturbing my night vision. I'll show you all at night what I'm talking about. It's just a little bit too much. Maybe they changed it and made it a little bit brighter on account of what this light does. If I was to leave this on in moonlight mode for greater than 10 minutes, sometimes even seven minutes, it eventually starts going crazy and going brighter and brighter and brighter and gets into turbo. I'll be mashing the button and I can't make it stop. I covered that on the first video of this E07. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check that out. It's still in my videos. It's it's weird. I contacted Fireflies. They never did say anything back to me about it. You know, it is what it is. I mean, here I am with another one, so I still like the light. And maybe that's why this newer one is now a little bit brighter, because they fixed that. All right, enough about that. Let me set this old one down, and I want to show you all something else real quick. One other thing that I did notice that was different is when I'm taking the battery cap off it is much smoother it just everything turns a little bit better and the other thing I want to show y'all is this battery that I'm using the other ones I'm using the Samsung 40T with this I went ahead and tried something different I'm using a it's a new Sony VTC6A and I'll give you the link to that it is Sony's version of the 21700 they're famous for the VT6 VTC6 which is the really good 18650 battery that everybody knows about so I wanted to try out their version of the 21700. I've swapped both of these batteries around when I noticed that this moonlight was a little bit brighter. I swapped it around to confirm that it wasn't the battery causing that by the way. So either battery it didn't matter which one I put in this it was still this newer one was still brighter. Let's go ahead and show y'all one other thing that I noticed on turbo, even in the daytime. Y'all can see that the two of these are pretty equal. They're pretty equivalent. And I just wanted to give you an idea of the tint, even though it's daytime, you're going to see better at night, I know. But that tint and that natural color is so much better than the uh, 6500. Just my opinion. Don't get upset with me. Everybody's got an opinion. But I really like the tint of this newer one for bringing out colors and things. It's just a really natural, warm tint. And I'm glad I went with this tan body to go with that tint because I think it all looks really good together. I also like the matchup of the purple button with the purple auxiliary lights. Let's get these things out tonight, show you what's going on. Now we're out here at nighttime. Let's show you the old first. That's the 6500K. That's the older one, and I'm show showing you turbo. And then that's a little bit below medium. 
doesn't hardly show up. And now let's get this other one out, the newer one, the SST20, the tent of 4000K. Notice how the green is a lot more visible. Please excuse our grass. We haven't had rain here lately, but you get the idea of what this thing does, the way it brings the colors out. Actually had a little bit more to go. Now I'm going to do a side by side and show you on the right will be the 6500K and on the left will be the 4000. So you get your cooler white over here than your more natural neutral tint to the left. It's pretty pretty nice. Liking them both. I will say that for whatever reason the newer one with the SST20 is getting a lot hotter whereas I can hold my older one with the 6500K and it's not quite as hot. Anybody have any ideas what that's all about? It did kind of step down a little bit. But this 4000K is stepped down too, and it's a lot hotter. I definitely want to be uh, wearing some gloves if I had to touch it. Yeah, it keeps stepping down. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It's pretty hot. And the older one, the one I was showing y'all that I've had for a while, See, I'm still able to hold on to it. It's stepped down, but I can manage it. This newer one with the SST20, I mean, that's hot. That's real hot up there. In fact, I'm having to set it back down again. I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> wow. So, the SST20... LEDs, just so you know, they get pretty warm. We'll say they get pretty hot. Whereas the 6500, and I'll give the exact description of what these LEDs are, it's really not bad. I'm impressed that it doesn't get as hot as these newer, the newer one did. It's a big difference. That is a hot flashlight right now. I mean, I'm still keeping this thing going. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm glad I got out here and did this and shared that with y'all. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of research and try to figure out why that's the case. If anybody has any ideas on why these SST20 LEDs get so much hotter than the the other. Let me know. Alright, thank y'all for watching.